thank you for those who came out to the workshop this evening. I was only expecting two or three people, um, but I heard there were 18. Thank you. Thermometer, a diagram of the human body is set between two points. The point water boils, the point water freezes. This is where it lives and how, somewhere between two points. The heart. The heart, the real heart, is ugly. Nothing here can break or be broken and nothing can come from here but blood. Agnes Martin, Untitled, Number 10. This is a clearing, a rule you will bind to yourself like a promise to begin. It's the color bone is when you take it out of itself, the color of cold when the sun doesn't come to its calling. It's the shape and shapes water could be, the direction light can travel to get to you. It's the plot and path of a small single letter, the face of a country you can make yours. The lines, the grids, the marks are here. Fai. This is how you say fire in Lao. Anything that has light must acknowledge that first fire. Fai mai is fire when it's burning something down. A house burns down, a forest, a city. Fai Sang is flashlight, a man-made object, a thing you take out into that not knowing. Fai Fa is thunder, that scrawl of light in the shape broken things first take. Fai Mont is what happens when you're not expecting it, a power outage, a burnt bulb. Mot fai is when you do something to light. It's a far reach set above you, a calling out of place. It's a turn, a switch in the wall you go to find. Fai mot, mot fai. When you learn to swim. When you learn to swim, it will be different here. You can take a leap off this ledge 10 feet and never touch ground. You can hover in what could be air, lean back further and further, and something that feels like faith will lift, will hold you up. But it isn't faith. It's some kind of physics, law, a rule of matter put in place, set in place, as old and as constant as that sun, that unsettled speck, that shadowless thing, that thing to have. Bear, it means you are light, that you can begin differently now, that you've taken it all off. It means to show your tooth and claw without the work, the polish, the appointment. If the ending were different, if you place the last letter right after the beginning, it would be an animal, a power, a warning from which to stay away. Face to face, maybe you'd see they're really not all that different, both just trying. A rearrangement, a shift, a move out of place, a spine realigned. But it would take that, wouldn't it? That face to face to know. <coughs> the 
the dung beetle. The dung beetle has been given this all its life, and all its life it has quietly sifted and culled each bit, each piece, as if each bit, each piece had been lost to us, a lesser light dropped from pinned points in the night sky. Each bit, each piece rounded up and rounded out, a circle to be made solid, a circle it will one day be called upon to drag up into the open and set for the rest of us a rising sun. Postcard. The real hour of the day is not known. The sky is blue-gray. The snow is flat in these fields. Bare trees line themselves along the horizon like shards from black glass. The sun, if it will rise today, will begin on the left. Every shape of cloud has been here once. In an hour, the buildings will be the first to rise into view. Each building a neat ordering of glass and light. Nearby, a needle sticks out. Two circles at the pointed end. A thread through the start of a beating. These circles are different in size. They do nothing but offer us a different view of ourselves. An assemblage of pretty dots and moving bits. Into this, we are coming for the real hour of the day. A thing I find impossible to lift. Still light. Next door, there is a small cat. Long white hair with patches of black. It knows to go out there the few hours when the trains don't run. Along a single rail, it balances its weight, careful, controlled, a tightrope walker. At night, it walks the whole block, quiet and deliberate. You can tell if it loves you by what it brings to the front door. The part of the mouse, it leaves you soft, the hard part, the head, a tumbleweed of splinter and bone removed, thinking it's made things easy for you. That's its idea of what love is, a thing without its head. <laughs> jewel. A jewel is a unit of work and energy. A jewel is a gem, a thing you mine the earth for. A thing that occurs when laws and elements line up under the right conditions. To the ear, each alone is the same. Only as written words do their differences come clear. The first letter, a hook, a drilled ground, a deep shaft. It's the letters that follow, their ordering set like layer and rock, element and time. The eye can discern this way, separate each to their difference. The fish in Mammoth Cave. The fish in Mammoth Cave don't have eyes. You look at one, look at where the eyes should be, or could be, and wonder if this here is how. Cluster. The story they told us was wide and lost and ever-changing. And the words it came with were small, sprawling and crawling for its end. 
The end, if something could be said of it, tried to take shadow and shape, but closed and collapsed at its center. Wound around an end, a different colored string. There might have been an umbrella, shoe, or even jewelry, but who among us would know our way back could climb over that mess again? Cut a hole into this page and hold it up to the sky. Tell us of the blue if it is day and the stars that shoot through if it is night. Fluff the clouds if they look flat or cover the moon if it is full. Tell yourself yesterday was not tomorrow and none of it will ever be today. Minute Made Poster. We used to have this poster on the wall. It was an advertisement for Minute Made, a row of orange groves. It went on top of billboards and was sealed inside the glass of bus shelters. The poster gave my parents a different view than the one we had outside our window. We had only snow and the exhaust pipe from a car parked just outside. The poster never tore, a kind of paper built for the weather here. From far away, the blue in the sky and the green on the ground looked uniform. Up close, they were made of a million little dots. The blue was made of blue but the green was of bits of blue and yellow arranged on top of each other. The yellow came first and then the blue. It was the distant looking that brought them together that filled the space between them. This poster was our future looking in on us, but we didn't see. We didn't see how inside it would be my mother picking oranges in that field. Her nails cut short, but dirt still found its way there. And her hair would feel like straw, and half her face would sag from a stroke. She says not to think on it too much. She can't taste anything on one side except bitterness. A seahorse. A seahorse does not know what it is like to come in first. It is, by some accounts, last. Its heart, the size of a small pebble, moves at its own pace, dancing quietly underneath the ocean's current, spinning unalarmed by what's happening or what's happened. When it gets to where it's going, there will be no cheer or crowd, no line to cross, no measure of great. And yet, it will arrive at the winning and the rank we gave it. Gayatri. I have a picture of us when we are seven, but we aren't in it. At the time it was taken, we thought we were. We posed with our wide grins and best friends forever certainty. I angled the camera to capture us in front of a Christmas tree. All the sparkling tinsel and dangling silver balls aren't there. There is only the ceiling and the tip of the pine needle. There isn't a star or an angel on top. I have kept this picture of us for years, the only one to remember and laugh at what happened to us then. It was taken before a time you could see a picture on a screen, see how it turned out, and decide whether it was worth keeping. 
I think of you now and again, the plain peanut butter sandwiches we ate with apples. You said you were going to be a dentist when you grow up, and with a fork and spoon, you determined it was possible I would live and sent me home with a bag full of Twizzlers and hairbands. Clown. He was standing at the corner with all his blown up balloons. He made shapes out of the air and no one understood. He held these out to anyone who would take them and said they were animals or flowers, his heart. He had spent years training for this moment on the corner, handing out nothing, trying to drown out the sound of traffic and horns. His big, bright red shoes glowed like his hair and eyes and mouth. He wanted us to stop and listen and look at what he made and be his friend. He insisted what he made was art. We had loved this clown once and joined his brand of entertainment. We saw what he looked like without all that makeup, the prop, the candy. I love you, he said, and the city filled with music and dance and our children. We, un we alone understood what he made. We were there when the rooms filled with the friends he wanted. We were there before you knew you could win. And when I spun to split the green bottles spinning, he turned and disappeared. A clown is a clown and will always go back to being a clown. It's the laughter and the stage that was his calling, the joke and code of his ethic. And um, the last poem for tonight. It's called Third Eye. My mother had given birth a few months ago. I thought it was odd as she just turned 60 recently. I had not seen her pregnant, but there it was in the room, all formed, a baby boy. I didn't know what his name was, only that she told me I could have him. If I wanted, she didn't really care. And I told her I didn't want him. And when I did, she picked him up and as she did this, I noticed at the back of his head a third gray eye. It had opened and blinked and then closed. She took him to another room down the hall and I followed. Then she stumbled and fell, collapsed. I ran to her to pick her up. Her whole face was gone, peeled back, and her eyes weren't even there. I picked her up like she was my own child and held her. I was sorry I wasn't there sooner. And all this time, I did not think of that child, the one with the third gray eye. I only thought of her now, who she had been to me then, and if she would be that again. Thank you.